So hi everyone, we will be showing you how to draw the everyday. So I'll just click here. And first you're going to draw a fish-like body right here. Now we draw the snake head. Now we're going to draw the snake head like this. And if I'm going too fast, don't worry. Just pause the video. Just pause the video, yes. So now we're going to draw some spikes on the snake's head. That way it looks like the everything. Now, if you mess up, which I did right here, I'm using the large eraser, so it's kind of... And then you do that. Snake head. Then we're going to draw a donkey head. But before we draw the donkey head, we must draw the snake's pattern on its back. Otherwise, it's not a snake, right? So let's draw a donkey that looks nothing like a donkey. So I'm just going to try to make that more like a donkey head. <laughs> so we're going to do this and this. Of course, I kind of made it a little. So then we're going to draw its eye. Actually, mm, I just thought of something. We're going to give it whiskers. A pig nose will be here. Pig nose. There's the pig nose. Then we draw an octopus eye right here. And then we're going to draw whiskers. And then its mouth is going to have donkey teeth. That way, no, it's a donkey. So, this is a bit ugly, but I would have done better on a... How about that? That looks good, doesn't it? Okay. So now, we're going to draw a hat to make it look funny. So we're going to draw the top hat, the circle here. going to draw that. Then we're going to add, have a cat ears over here. And then we're going to draw the crab here. Then we color it in. There you go. The hat. Also, if you can draw this better, uh, it'd be cool because I, I'm doing this on computer, on paper. I would have done a lot better. So, now we do the crab claws right here. And I guess you can guess why I call this the everything. Because. Then, we're going to draw spider feet. So, we're just going to draw the spider feet like this. Very simple. And then on the other side, draw a, something right beside each of them. And then the fox tail. Now, if you don't want to, you don't have to draw the lines. Now, to make this look like a fish, gonna draw the fin. Then we're gonna draw lines crossing each other. Um, yeah, like that. Then do it the other way. Okay, so there it is. Now we're going to draw some spikes on its head. On its tail, of course, we can't add spikes. And then we're gonna draw color this area in. And let me remind you that I can't draw as well on a computer. Okay, there you go. It may look bad, but it's because I'm doing this on a computer. So, but it's good. And if you're doing it on a paper, you can do improvements to this. If you'd like. Now we're going to draw a background over here. A tree. Then we're going to draw some leaves here, some leaves there, and then that looks like a tree, doesn't it? And maybe even a branch right here, and another one down here, like that. We could draw some birds. You want to draw maybe the flowers down here and then a circle here. Of course, it's not good because I'm doing this on a computer. Clouds maybe. Let's draw some clouds. The sun, let's put it behind this cloud, right? So we're going to draw a circle. And then, watch this. Now, it's not the best drawing in the world, but I say, 
Since it's on computer, it's okay. Now it's daytime in this picture, so we won't be able to draw any stars. Maybe we could draw, I think that's it. Unless you wanna draw animals, please do. But I think mine is good the way it is. So now let's color. So we're going to take this green. Actually, you know what, let's use pencil because pencil looks better for a, for this color. So just color it in. And then let's use color pink for the outside. Although of course, if you're a boy or even a girl, you can make your color a little different. Now, this is a sun color. No, that's sun. So we're gonna color the cer the hole, and then we're going to color the other flower. We're going to take color red now. And you may be seeing me coloring out outside of the lines a little bit. That's only because to make it more like a flower. You, now this looks like a baby drawing it, but I think it's very artistic. Even though this is a computer now and I'm kind of scribbling on it because that's just how I do it on a computer. I feel like I've been saying computer a lot. Well, yes, I have. Computers are not really easy to draw with. As you can see, I'm just drawing circles in it. That's to make it simple. And we're going to use a marker marker, because, see, you can't really see the outlines very well. And that looks like a tree now. This is just for the outlines, honestly. This is not even Sharpie, so it's very th thick, though, I know. But it makes the drawings better, and you just do this. And then we could just outline this, I guess. Since the foxtail is kind of in the picture, And then you should only outline the things that you all already colored. Otherwise, that would be a problem. See? The flowers next. And then the other one. Now, I'm not going by the lines on this one. I'm just trying to make it look nice. Also, that would look really ugly. This flower is huge, although. Now let's draw the ground. So, have we used this green yet? Yep, we have. So we'll use the really light green. And I think we're gonna use this big guy because he's gonna make this quick. Now do not worry, even if you scribble like I am, it won't make a big difference. It will just have a lot of white spots in it, which is exactly what perfection. Now, don't perfection doesn't really matter as long as you have fun with it, like little kids do normally. They have fun with it. Oh, wait. Now, the erasing part comes last normally. You always erase last. But I think I'm going to try to make this a little better. And it doesn't matter if you get it out of the line because there's a reason why we have erasers. Okay, there you go. There's the ground. Now what else do we need to color? Well, the sun would be one of them. So let's take this yellow and just color in the inside. Okay? Inside. As you can see, more scribbling. But... Now orange for the outside. And remember, I'm coloring on a computer, so 
this is not going to be the best. Also, my name is Adam Warren. So, yeah, that's just some info. Let's see here. So, we haven't done the anything, everything yet. But, we'll color the background last. So, let's draw the color the everything. So, foxtail is kind of actually this color. So, and remember, we always outline after we color. That way it looks better. So, looks like a foxtail. Now, the fish one was going to be hard. But I'll say we color it tan. Remember, the fish is the body. So, now outlining again. Now, I'm not going to outline until I get to this part, which is outlining. Fish body now. We're going to color this outline this now that doesn't really look like a fish body so i say color a little bit over it now there you go more like a fish kind of i'd say now spiders have kind of this kind of color on it now it's i don't think we can color this in it's usually harder to do so i say we don't color it. actually maybe we can but remember it with pencil it looks way better especially on paper because computer kind of makes it fake looking although i'll let you know that it's kind of, it looks pretty real that a human being did this not on a computer however i did it on a computer so what would me what means it makes it look a little disneyer but i say we just color all that in there you go. Now we don't color the eye in. Some things will be white. Now we need the color gray for this. Then then we take the black again and we do that. We're just going through the body right now. So let's do the claws. Claws are kind of reddish. Don't worry, we'll fill that. Color that claw in. Then the next one. So, oh, we're going to be coloring the head next. So, we're going to be coloring the head next, and it's a donkey head. So, donkeys have, well, some of them have, but I'm going to color it in the teeth, too. We'll just outline it. Now, the pig nose is going to be colored pink, and the hat we leave alone. So, that's kind of how we do the everything except we have one more thing if you can now this the thing everything looks bad now but mm, i say it looks good now this is a how to draw video you can make it differently if you'd like you can add different animals but me and my friend thought of this and i'm doing this on the computer so yeah let's do the spikes and Get it. Now I'm better at doing this on paper. And I was coloring with marker. Marker doesn't make it look too good. Now that looks bad right here though. What do we do next? Blue for the sky. And you don't need to make it perfect. You need... The point of this is to make it look good. I mean, you don't need to make it perfect. You just need to make it understandable. If you know what I mean. And small spaces you can color in completely. Just, I would recommend not to. And you can color it in. I mean, I'm not saying you can't, but it kind of takes a long time. Okay, so we're almost done. Now, it's easier to color in with this color, but as you know, this is kind of a babyish drawing. But trust me, it would, you, if you drew this, you would get probably a lot of interest the everything is is an is not an animal but it's every animal and you may be thinking yeah it is an animal because all the animals and it's the total opposite of not an animal or what i said uh, but trust me and i think i just made no sense right there 
just finished coloring this and then please remember to subscribe it'd be very nice and i can make more of them and eventually i'll make a paper video and don't worry you're gonna love them and if you'd like you can ask me what you'd like me to draw oh we didn't even color in the sun well that's it for today everyone please remember to subscribe and see you see you next time